Hi friends, this is your friend Israeli Mass Concepts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a given question using partial variation. Actually, this question was sent by one of my students and he was asked in the school to solve it. So he deemed it fit to send it to me to assist in solving it. But I checked the question and after my observation, I discovered the question is in relationship with partial variation. All right, the question said that X is partly constant and partly varies as y. So when y is equal to 2, x is equal to 30. And when y is equal to 6, x is equal to 50. The first question says, find the relationship between x and y. Then the second question says, find x when y is equal to 3. Now let me begin with a solution to this very question. The first thing I'm going to do is to interpret this question. Remember that your x is partly constant, so x should be equal to my constant and partly varies. Once you see the and, you put a plus sign and partly varies as y, partly varies as y. Already I have a constant here, so there is no need of including a constant for this k because including constant for k, constant multiplies constant is still constant. But for my y here, y is a variable. So I have to include a constant, maybe let me take constant p. So I now have my constant for y because my y is variable. Now the question says when y is equal to 2, x is equal to 30. Now coming to this very given equation, wherever I see my x, I replace it with 30. And whenever I see my y, I replace it with 2. Hence x is 30 now. So 30 is equal to k plus my py, my y is 2. So 2 times p is 2p. I can rearrange this equation to have that 2p plus k is equal to 30. So let me call this equation equation 1. Then also remember they say when y is equal to 6, x is equal to 50. So coming to this same equation here, x is 50, y is 6. So I will replace x with 50, which is equal to my constant plus my py. But remember that y it's now 6, so that I will now have that 50 is equal to k plus p times 6 is 6p. Six so I can rearrange this equation to have k plus 6p is equal to 50. So let me call this equation 2. So already we have equation 1 and equation 2. So equation 1 and equation 2 is already tending to simultaneous equation. Hence, let me bring the two equations out. The first one says that 2p plus k is equal to 30. This is my equation 1. And the second one states that my k plus 6p is equal to 50. This is my equation 2. Now, remember, there are two ways I could use to solve this to make it very convenient or easy. I could use substitution method of solving simultaneous equation, and at the same time, I can also use um, elimination method. But let me use substitution method to solve this given question. Let me say from equation one, from equation one, let me make my k the subject of the formula. So k is equal to 30. The 2p coming to the other side of the equation will be negative 2p. So I now have to substitute for my k equal to 30 minus 2p into equation 2. So wherever I see k in equation 2, I replace it with 30 minus 2p. So I now have that k is 30 minus 2p, 30 minus 2p, then plus my 6p equal to 50. So now I have that minus 2p plus 6p is now 4p equal to 50. 30 coming to the other side of the equation will be negative 30. I have that 4p is equal to 50 minus 30 is 20. So dividing both sides of the equation by the coefficient of p, which is 4, I will now have that p is equal to 20 over 4, which is equal to 5, because 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now I substitute. I substitute for p equal to 5 into any of the equation, whether I substitute in equation 1 or 2, they will still give me the same answer. 
But let me take equation two. And equation two states k plus 6p equal to 50. k plus 6p equal to 50. So wherever I see um, p in this very given equation two, I replace it with five. So I now have that k is equal to six. My p is now replaced with a five equal to 50. So that I have that k plus six times five is 30 and 30 is equal to 50. Then my k is equal to 50. 30 coming to the other side of the equation will be negative 30. So that I now have that k is equal to 50 minus 30 is automatically 20. All right, I've succeeded in finding my k, which is equal to 20, and also my p, which is also equal to 5. So the first question says, find a relationship between x and y. So I'm going to clean here. All right, the question A states, find a relationship between x and y. It is very, very simple. The relationship between x and y, remember our equation state that x is equal to k plus py. So the relationship that exists between x and y is to put or substitute for your p equal to 5 and for your k equal to 20 in this very given equation. Hence, remember our p is now 5. So wherever I see p here, I will replace it with 5. And wherever I see k here, I replace it with 20. So I will now have that x is equal to, remember I'm solving for a, question a now. And I have that my x is equal to, my k is already 20. I say 20, then plus my p is already um, 5. So I have my 5, then my y. Hence, this is the relationship that exists between x and y. Once you're able to find your p and your k respectively, just substitute it in this given equation, you will find your relationship that exists between x and y respectively. All right, we also have the B question. The B question says, find x when y is equal to three. Find x when y is equal to three. So for you to find your x when y equal to three, coming to this very given relationship, your x is what you are asked to find, then your y is three. So wherever you see y in this very given relationship of the equation, replace three for y. So we now have that, our x is equal to 20 plus 5 in bracket. What is your y now? 3. You replace it with 3. So that we now have that x is equal to 20 plus 5 times 3 is 15. And x is now equal to 20 plus 15 is 35. All right, you can see that we succeeded in finding a relationship that exists between x and y. And at the same time, we're able to find our x when y is equal to 3, and our x is 35. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Israeli Mass Concept, so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Also, remember to follow me on Facebook at Israeli Online Mass Concept. Remember to comment. Remember to share this video. See you next time. Goodbye.